Yo, what is up, everyone? Good to see you again. Andy here with you on a Wednesday. Going to try to sniff out a couple of winners for you. And uh, you know what? I think you had to learn the hard way yesterday. I think you just started to think, no, what is this guy doing? Senators? Islanders? Capitals? No, I think I don't think he knows what he's talking about. I'm going to take those Rangers. I'm going to take Boston. I'm going to take the Penguins because they have all those points. Look at them. I tried telling you guys all year. This isn't the playoffs. You're going to get things like this quite a bit, quite a bit, which is why I was hesitant, which is why I used a bunch of those plus one and a halves. The only thing I kind of was slightly off about, A, obviously the Edmonton Oilers, and then some of the totals, but I'm happy I cashed you guys on both of those Washington and under bets. The Islanders... The over-under was six, so if you took the Islanders and over-under, you won on the Islanders and you pushed on the over-under. We got the under in that Minnesota game, and we also got the over in the Vancouver Sharks game. So actually, it was a pretty good night, and more importantly, if, if you trusted me, I kept you off all those stayaways. Kept you off Penguins, kept you off Rangers, kept you off Bruins. So that in and of itself was... A pretty solid feat but if you were like me and you took a look at the slate for Wednesday it's slim pickings on there it, these are not easy games to choose from so we're gonna default to some classic theories but first just know the best bet on the night is any money line five dollars you want to put five dollars on the Tampa Bay Lightning just to beat the Montreal Canadiens then DraftKings Sportsbook will credit you with $150 in free bet credits if you bet $5 on any money line, any sport. The team you choose wins. DraftKings Sportsbook will credit you with $150 in free bet credits. You just got to be a new user and click the link below in the description to go there, register with them, and then that promotion will be available to you. All right, so on a confusing slate with a lot of tough lines, tough decisions to make, I'm going to default to some of our theories, theories that work more often than they don't. We have a couple of teams who played last night, and now they're going to have to get right back out there on the ice. Let's start with the Bruins. They lost last night, and now they're going to New Jersey, who they just played in New Jersey like eight days ago. The scheduling is so weird with the NHL this year. And this is a game that I believe New Jersey has kind of had circled since they lost that one. I think they want another crack at that one. They didn't play last night. The Bruins did. They're coming over there. So what I want to do is I want to take a first period line on the Devils. Because I think maybe there's a chance that they can come out and just jump out early on them. Not 100% certain they're going to win. Although I am inclined to believe that they are going to win this one. I'm going to take the first period for the Devils. But the option that push is a draw like push you get your money back and i like that i like the chance for the devils to get one early and as long as boston doesn't come back right away because there is a chance they can come back maybe you get one one and push but i like them to to be leading after the first so i'm going to take uh the new jersey devils in the first period in that one and i also like the over six and a half goals in that game the devil's defense has been absolutely putrid during this long stretch of awful play where they've only been able to win one game against florida who everybody's been beating while they haven't had uh barkov and then also obviously the bruins you know they're capable of scoring the devils are capable of scoring and the devil's goaltending has come way back down to earth i think this is a pretty good pretty good chance this one can go over six and a half and like i said i do think the devils who i am so down on like i still would encourage you to take the devils to miss the playoffs but then again that's a season long bet and you guys are like crack addicts you need that hit tonight I'm not speaking poorly about crack addicts. I'm just saying they need that hit tonight, and so do you. But if you're a long-term hitter, I'm telling you, Devils to miss the playoffs at like plus 750, plus 800 is a very juicy bet and a good bet and a bet that I think is a smart one to take. So moving on from there, we had the Pittsburgh Penguins who played last night. They looked like absolute garbage. Now their backups are going to be coming in at home. You'd assume they want to have a better game and almost... It benefits a team who plays awful to get right back out on the ice. But, you know, they still are an older veteran team. Second half of a back-to-back -back against Detroit. I'm going to do what I did with the Islanders last night. I'm going to go both teams over one and a half goals with Detroit plus one and a half. 
Pittsburgh, I find it highly unlikely they're going to be held to under two goals in two straight nights, especially when they're against Detroit. And I imagine against a backup goalie, Detroit will be able to pop a couple of goals in. And I think this one is going to stay within one. I like Detroit to either possibly win this one. It's another one. I think it's how you attack these ones. Obviously, I don't feel comfortable and say, yeah, Detroit's going to go into Pittsburgh and win that. But I do feel this one's going to be close, which is why I feel comfortable taking that plus one and a half. And I think that they're both going to go over one and a half goals. So they'll have two or more goals. And quite honestly, I wouldn't mind the over in this one as well. Have you ever heard so many overs come out of my mouth in a two day stretch? I am Andy Unders. I'm an under the covers kind of guy. Actually, I'm a one leg over, one leg under when I sleep. But regardless, just these particular games, they uh, they feel more like overs to me these last couple of nights. So that's what I like in that Pittsburgh game. I'm going to do that plus one and a half with both teams registering over one and a half goals. And then I'm going to look at that Kraken who are playing Calgary who just played last night. Calgary. Fucking Jesus. Anyway. What I'm going to do in this one is just follow follow that tree of logic. Second half of back-to-backs. Markstrom played last night. Not going to be playing tonight. They'll be facing a backup. Give me the Kraken. And I'm going to do the same thing I did with that Devil's First period bet. After 60, ties are a push. So it's Kraken in 60, ties are a push. Because when you have dead even teams, minus 110, then you actually get your money back but it's the same exact price because I don't want to be losing in a shootout and you guys say, oh yeah, nice pick. No, no, no. It is a nice pick and a guy scored on a breakaway in a shootout and has no bearing on who actually would win this game if it kept being played. So I'm going to take the Kraken to win in 60, but if they don't win, you get your money back. It's a push. All right. And also, I feel like if you want to take the Devils in that style of bet, I think it's plus 100. I do think they're going to win that game versus the Bruins. And that's really all I got for you. This is not a good sled. These are tough games to predict. Very tough games to predict. So I'm just betting against the teams that played last night. Worked pretty well over the course of my life, and I'll look for that to continue tonight. If you need to juice up a parlay or something, sure. Add in the Lightning. I love a veteran team after a layoff. They always benefit from a little extra rest, and now they're playing at home against the Canadians, one of my, you know, sloping down kind of teams. And you can use them to juice any parlays. But that is what I got for you here on this Wednesday. Make sure you're subscribed to this Odd Shopper channel for more daily fun. I'll be back with you tomorrow. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel, which you should find a link to down below as well. And then come find me on social media. It's the name you see on your screen. Andy Francis, France like the country, double S. It's that name on all the platforms. All right, good luck to you. Better luck to me. I will see you tomorrow.